All right, welcome back to the show. I'm Dan Edwards with the Eastside Real Estate team, and this is the Seattle Eastside Real Estate team, Real Estate Podcast. And I am joined by our friend Tucker Maxwell with Guild Mortgage for our mar mortgage uh, moment update. Tucker, how you doing? Good, Dan. How are you? Okay, I as a real estate agent trying to explain all of that stuff, did I get it right? Is you there did. something else you'd like to add? No, you're spot on. The, the only thing I would add is kind of converting the loan limits to purchase prices, because I think that's what, you know, consumers look at more. So now, you know, talking specifically about King, Snohomish, Pierce County. So the big three here in the greater Seattle area, um, folks with a 3% down payment can now purchase up to a purchase price of 667000 purchase price with 3% down. And with 5% down, so going back to your point about the conforming high balance or these counties that have higher priced homes, people can purchase at 938000 and some change with 5% down. So that's huge. So nearly a million dollars with 5% down. With 5% down. So what is 5% of a million dollars? Uh, uh, 50000 50000 yeah. So that's actually pretty amazing that you can actually leverage that and, and providing you qualify on debt to income and all that stuff, right? Correct. Yep. Yeah, versus twenty percent, which is two hundred thousand, right? That's twenty percent and a lot of documentation. You know, jumbo. They're they're strict. They're going to look. So this at actually everything. even reduces the documentation because they're streamlined uh, conventional loans, basically. Absolutely. So that's excellent. Awesome. All right. So let's talk about the future. Where do you see? Uh, I know you know we don't really like to talk about interest rates during the mortgage moment because interest rates change. This podcast goes out, and you know next week something happens. But where, where do you see things headed uh, for the mortgage market in the in the twenty twenty two? Yeah, great question, Dan. So, um, and not this isn't from Tucker Maxwell specifically, but looking at industry experts. So, looking from uh, the perspective of Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. Um, Matthew Gardner, you know, chief economist of Windermere, some of these industry experts and the folks that are actually in the hot seat setting interest rates. For most of them, they anticipate that interest rates are going to stay at or near where they are today, which is really between about, you know, the low threes and the, the, the most pessimistic, you know, view on rates is from the Mortgage Bankers Association. And they even believe that rates are going to stay at or below 4%. So in the overall picture of interest rates, those are start, still historically low rates. Okay, so um, obviously below four, but um, we'd like to keep them in the low threes would be awesome. Absolutely. That'd be great. Cool, and then as far as um, what you expect to see with um, lead times, I mean, Guild Mortgage has been around for a long time, so being able to get people qualified, do you, do you, do you believe that there's going to be a, a situation where um, it's a little bit harder or might take a little more time to get approved? In the coming months um no um i think actually quite the opposite we aren't seeing the refinance volumes that were really slowing things down you know a majority of americans have refinanced now and so those are off of our desk and then with automation you know hr really doesn't want to answer the phone calls for verification of employment so they're utilizing technology to put this information out there so that in real time we can uh, prove people so i would say you know, all lenders utilizing the technology available should be able to improve their turnaround times. All right. So we have open houses. We had one this weekend and somebody came in and, and they really liked the house and they were, they, they thought about um, writing an offer on it and they hadn't talked to a lender. And I, I think that there's always this um, kind of apprehension about, you know, giving information out to a lender. Um, what can you say about your confidentiality and kind of your process? So if somebody wants to just find out if they do qualify, um, I, I see so much reluctance. How can you change that? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good point. So first, I would recommend working with somebody local that you can put a face to the name and you know that they're going to be personally responsible for your loan versus going online and uploading it to some online resource. Um, so that's first and foremost. Find somebody local um, that has some credibility in your market. Uh, look for referrals directly from the realtors. Um, they're working with these people, and so they're going to know, like, and trust them. Um, and then all lenders utilize bank level security. So utilizing the technology that we offer our clients is the best way to upload documents and provide us that information so that it is secure. Um, and specifically for Guild Mortgage, the first document that we provide clients is an e-consent. So it's telling them right from the beginning what our policy is with those documents, how we protect it, how we store it, and what we do after the transaction's over. 
Okay. Excellent. Well, listen, Tucker, I appreciate your input and uh, coming on and sharing with our, our listeners and watchers what's going on. How do our guests get a hold of you? Uh, yep. My cell phone number, call me directly, 425-757-9202. All right. 425-757. Thank you so much, Tucker, for joining us today. Absolutely. Thanks, Dan.